Okay, here we are ready to remove a weaving peg from the board. First thing you're gonna do is cut off and disconnect the needle from your ending piece. Use that needle to um, help you remove the um, little loops that are above the teeth. And I've already gone through half of this front side here. So what it looks like is you go up and over um, underneath those, or um, excuse me, underneath those little loops and pull them up and right over your edge. So you can see how it released from the back side after I did that. Now I'm going to go through and do the opposite side the same exact way. So just going under those loops, pulling them up and over. Um, and after I'm done with that, I can turn in my needle um, to the correct container because I won't, I should not need the needle too much after that. Um, so now I've removed both sides from the board, okay, so it's loose. Um, however, when I look at um, the original front side, you can see that there is still one there. That's the one that is taped down from when we first originally strung the board. Um, there should also be one taped over here where that ending, um, that ending tooth is on the bottom. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull down until I can see that I have access to the tape. So I'm pulling that tape along with it and then I can see now I have access to that first one as well. Um, so I'm just going to remove that from the board. The board goes right back in the original same storage bucket. I'm going to pull off this tape because I shouldn't need that anymore. And now that the weaving is off the board, I'm going to look for the warp string, the starting warp string, and my ending weaving string where I released it from the needle. And I'm going to tie those two together in a regular square knot. Once I do that, I'm going to do the same thing um, to the starting or the ending warp string that was on the inside of the bag. And then I'm also going to look for a starting end. And since um, this person did the shag for their first pattern, I'm going to pull one of the shag ends through. And that gives me a place to tie the warp string to. So I just want to secure the starting and the ending warp string. Okay, Any excess yarn that's hanging from the knot, I can trim that off. Same thing with... Um, the one at the top, I can trim that off as well. It doesn't have to be quite so long. Okay. Um, now my next step is to look at the um, edges by the drawstring. And this one's pretty beaten together tight, so it's going to hold the drawstring in pretty good already. But you can see it's a little bit loose. So what we want to do is we want to pull the yarn towards the drawstring and kind of even it out throughout the body of the weaving. And that allows the drawstring to be held in nice and tight from all the weaving. So we're just basically pulling all the weaving lines up towards the edge to kind of hold that drawstring in nice and tight. Okay, so now that's pretty evened out. Now if she had um, not done the shag as a pattern, um, then we could actually just flip her weaving bag inside out and that would allow us to have all the knotted ends on the inside already. Um, but because she did the shag, we don't want to flip it inside out or she wouldn't be able to see any of her shag pattern. So in this case, um, I will still actually use the needle and I'll just use the needle to help me poke all of those knotted ends that are showing on the outside of her bag um, so that they end up on the inside of her bag instead. Um, so we don't see them. Okay, so I'll just do that all the way around. Here's an example of one that can be flipped inside out. So if we got um, patterns that don't involve the shag, all I have to do once I've knotted those warp string ends is flip the bag inside out. And you'll notice a difference between the way that the Egyptian knot looks um, once it's flipped inside out. Some kids really like that, some kids don't, so it's personal preference. Um, but this way all the knots are hid without you having to push them to the center. So as soon as um, this person is done, they can open and close their drawstring like this. So all you have to do is put your fingers over the two um, sides of the braid together, 
pull and when you're opening it up just get your fingers into the center and pull it right back open so we're good to go um, now she needs to put her name on masking tape right in the inside of her weaving bag um, and also fill out her grading rubric um, front to and back and I need your um, weaving bag checklist attached because I need to look at the patterns you chose. So we're going to staple this. We're going to fold these up so that they fit right inside together in the weaving bag. And then the weaving bag actually will get turned in to a separate bucket labeled by hour. That's it.